I'm Matthew. It's been ten years since I married my wife, Nora, and our daughter's name is Harper. The three of us are living happily, but recently there's something that I'm a little worried about. Nora had changed her job about a year ago. Even though she's working part time, she started coming home late, saving that she's working overtime. So my daughter and I spend a lot of time together now. And one day, it was just when we were getting lonely. I need your advice on something. What's the matter? My boss asked me to help out with work. That's great. What kind of job? It's with our clients who are located far from here. He said he needs an assistant, and it seems we have a meeting in two weeks. Where are you going? To Four X City. What?、Well, wouldn't you have to stay a couple of nights? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Considering the flight, the number of meetings and meals, I'd say five days. I'd have to leave on Monday, which is two weeks from now. Do you mind if I go? Five days? Hmm. I can do my work at home by remote, and Harper can stay with me. But I'm a little worried. Don't be. I'm going with a couple of people. No, it's not that. You have nothing to worry about. I can't agree with the fact that you'll start having more work, staying nights. It's not going to happen all the time. You never know. I may get more work due to this. Don't you think? I really want to go. Can I? If it means that much to you, I can. Yeah. Great. Thank you. But recently, Harper's been acting wrongly these days. Try to adjust the road of work from now on, okay? Okay. After Nora had left for her business trip, I received a message from my big brother James. The following day, I hadn't heard from him in a while. How have you been? Great. How's it going with you? The usual. Oh yeah. Did you open up your shop at Four X City? Nora's on a business trip near there right now. Is that so? How's business going? Well, sounds like a popular coffee shop. Oh yeah. Forget that. I have something to talk to you about. Can you talk now? Of course. What's the matter? Just earlier, I saw someone that looked like Nola. I didn't think she would be here. It was probably her, huh? I'm sure it was. How was she doing? I'm almost certain that it didn't look anything like a business trip to me. What do you mean? Maybe this is none of my business, but she's having an affair. What? She's supposed to be with her boss and a couple of her colleagues. Nope, she was with a guy. It was just the、uh, two of them. There are a lot of couples enjoying their time together. It's beach resort around here, you know, and they were one of them. You've got to be kidding! I took a picture of them, just in case. I'll send it to you later. Thanks. Don't get too upset, okay? The following day, bad news again. You saw them again? Yeah, they came to my shop. Haven't you told her about my shop? She knows, but I don't think she knows the details, like their place or name. Haha, <laughs> it must be a pretty popular shop, huh? And how was it? According to the waiter who took their order, it was obvious they weren't there for business. Apparently, it was their first time traveling together. Is that so? Yeah, I guess this proves everything, huh? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. I thought I'd be worse. Actually, I thought there was something going on from before. Plus, I noticed last night that her laptop was left here. It's the one that she uses for work. It's supposed to be a business trip, and she didn't even bring it. And inside were tons of evidence that proves that she's cheating on me. Are you serious? I know who it is, and I have the evidence. I'm thinking of what to say to her when she comes back. I need to calm myself down right now. I'm relieved you are not depressed, but your daughter is too young, right? I'm sure there's a lot to consider. If you ever need anything, let me know. Thanks for contacting me. I'm really glad you did. When things settle down, 
you and your daughter should come and visit me. I'll do that. Looking forward to it. Two days later. I'm at the airport. I miss you guys for not seeing you for four whole days. How was work? Everything go as planned? Yeah, it went perfectly. Thanks for taking care of everything while I was gone. By the way, I have something to ask you. What is it? Who was that person you were on a business trip with? Huh? My boss and my colleagues. How many people were there? Were they women or were they men? Uh, four, four people or women? Really? Really? I'm not lying. Are you sure you're not lying? Do you really think I am? Yeah. Oh, stop. I would never cheat on you. I never said anything about you cheating on me. You're the one who asked me questions, so I automatically thought you were accusing me of cheating. I'm not accusing you. Of course you're not. Alright, I'm almost home, okay? No, you don't have to come home. What? I'm not accusing you of having an affair. I'm certain that you are. That's why I don't ever want you to come home. Huh? Why not? How come you have this picture? Who is this? This is your work? When you think about it, you would never go to a famous resort earlier as 4X City for business. And it doesn't look like it has any connection to what your company does either. I think I told you this before that my big brother, James, owns a coffee shop. That shop is right near the beach in 4X City. Duh, don't tell me. Yeah, that's a shop. My brother contacted me. At first, I couldn't believe it myself. But I knew something was going on from the way you were acting recently. Plus, didn't you leave your laptop at home? What? Don't tell me. Did you look inside? Yeah. No way! I thought I locked it. Yeah, but I got in easily. When you think about it rationally, to peek inside was wrong of me. I got a message from James and I was pretty angry, you know? I guess I can understand, but it's still wrong of you to look inside my laptop. And besides, I'm not having an affair with the man in the picture. Then what is this? Uh, that's all an act. That's right. I was asked to act that way for the picture. I never knew you were that good in acting. He was being applauded by a woman who was so persistent. So I was pretending to be his girlfriend. You were doing this for months? All during the time you were at 4X City? Uh, yeah. Actually, he's one of my colleagues. Since he's being chased by his boss, who's quite old, I was protecting him all during the trip by acting. So that boss also came along on the trip, huh? That's right. That's strange. Yesterday, I called your office. I was told that you and your boss are on vacation and that no one is away to 4X City. Your ready boss was kind enough to let me know the details. And another thing, I contacted the guy in the picture, just Aria. How did you know his contact info? He was listed in your address book in your laptop. You should be more careful if you plan to hide things, don't you think? You didn't log out from your email account. So I read everything. What do you think he said? He said that he has no intentions of having a serious relationship with you. That jerk! Gosh, you're so scary. So you know everything, don't you? Yeah, so there's no use in making excuses. And another thing, I know that you two were talking behind my back at James Coffee Shop. The staff overheard you talking and told me about it. I didn't say anything bad about you. Huh, uh, let's see. Doesn't your husband say anything even when you were going away with a guy? He's too dense to figure anything out. Even if he does notice, he's probably too chicken to say anything about it. Every day is so dull that I'm bored with my life. I need more than just a nice husband. I need someone to excite me, just like you do. It sounds like you had a fun time. That nice husband of yours is getting ready to send your luggage to your parents' place. 
Wait, let's talk things over one more time. I don't want to hear any more excuses. I also contacted your parents. You know how strict my parents are when it comes to those kind of things, don't you? And you still tattled on me. How awful. Yeah, I remember how strict they were when we were getting married. But who the awful one here? Think of Harper's feelings and how lonely she was. What about me? Who was deceived and hurt by you? Think about what you've done. Harper, is she doing okay? Yeah, she's good. Anyway, I'll take the responsibility and take care of her. Instead of worrying about her right now, you should think about yourself and figure out what you're going to do. I beg you, let me see her, at least for a short time. After you settle down, we won't be able to solve anything from texting each other. I will have my attorney contact you for the rest of the details. Why are you so organized? Don't tell me you knew from before. No, but I kind of figured something was up. It's just a few days ago that I was very convinced. Then how can you be so calm and do such a cruel thing as this? Didn't you love me? You're so selfish. I loved you. You're the one who didn't love me. It just so happened that I wasn't as dense as you thought I was. See ya. Wait. After that, it seems she was harshly blamed by her parents. She couldn't rely on them anymore. Everyone found out about her affair at the office, so she had no choice but to leave. The divorce was finalized right after. The guy she was having an affair with ignored her completely. So she was suffering from depression for a while. Harper saw her depressed mother and she didn't want to see her anymore. It looks like Nora is trying really hard to get her daughter's trust back, even a little bit. I can never forget how disappointed I was when she had deceived me. But for Harper's sake, I think I need to stay strong.